On this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, Bob heads to Florida to Bienville Plantation to fish with a special guest, longtime guide and professional fisherman, Ron Riles. Also this week, Bob will be back with Berkeley Fishing's Kevin Malone as they will be discussing Berkeley's new power baits. And on this week's Sportsman's Table, we feature a low country boil that you can make for a crowd or just for two. It's a full packed show on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. And it all starts right now. We shot this hard. Look at that. Wow, let me hold that thing. Nice. Well, folks, listen, it's early morning. It's North Florida, Bienville Plantation, and I've got a special guest and guide with me today. Ron Riles is one of these local guides down here at Bienville. He's about 20 minutes away. He lives not far out of Lake City, but he, is, he has blessed us this morning with this beautiful sky, and Ron, I want to thank you, man, for, <laughs> thank you for, for hosting that. the show. Well, and, and just, you know, I, I have to ask you, when you come to Bienville to fish with you guys, you guys have got 27 opportunities of lakes around here, okay? <laughs> yes, sir, we do. That, that just are, and they're all different. Okay? They are, yep. And, and you know, one of the things too that I, I want you to tell all of our, our viewers out there today is it don't matter if you're novice, you're, you're a, a skilled bass fisherman, <laughs> okay? You guys do them all. Yeah, that's that's for sure. We've got different lakes that have different fishing structures, different different um, environments completely where they've been mined and all, and they've been reclaimed. Um, we do a lot of the the fishing for people that fish one time a year. It works out great because we can go in different places for their skill level. Honestly, we've got some lakes that have a lot of numbers of fish. We got some lakes that have, you know, just a bigger quality of fish in some of them, and and it works out great for what we have. Well, and the other thing too is, I mean, folks can stay on site, okay, yes. of, of the beautiful cabins that are here. Yes, sir. We've and got so, the, yeah. the five cabins that have five separate rooms, five separate bathrooms, and then a living area in those. So it, it's it, it's all inclusive. You can come right here, stay on the property, never leave. We've got the, a chef that does the stuff at the lodge for meals and everything. Got a pro shop for tackle, and everything's right here. Bo? Thank you, man, for having us. I tell you Thank what, you. and folks, with that, um, next thing you're going to see us doing is reeling in some big bass, okay? How about that's, it, Ron? That's ready? it. I'm ready. All right, man. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> you got him. It's a little better. Yeah, man. All right, get him, get him. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> get him, get him, Ron. Get fun, him, Bo. Fun on this little spinner, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Come back over here, little guy. Oh, I guess we're going to go to this Which side. Which way you want to go, William? <laughs> here, let me dip him out for you. Hey, Bo, I got my union card. I don't, I don't know that he's quite ready to come in yet with this light line. <laughs> That's okay. That's it. Well, now. Ah, yeah, there he comes. There he comes. All right, man, we'll get him over here for everybody to look at. Oh, yeah. Go on. Yeah, he's he tough this morning. Yeah, man. He swallowed that thing. Did he? Yep. Yes, sir, he did. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> okay, all right. Need some pliers. Uh, he definitely ate it. Yeah, he did. Uh, okay, we got, well, there we go. I'm telling you, folks, it's the general this morning, huh? <laughs> On the fusion weedless. Right there, Bo. Bo, look at that. Look at that. Nice that's a good pass. start. Nice pass. Okay. <laughs> Pulling on the general. Right, that's it. Man, I'll give him a salute when he gets in here. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Well, at least that's better than the last one. I tell you what, they are absolutely. They are. They are. They are mashing that thing. We're not getting a lot of bites, not, but the ones that are biting are I'm sure telling swallowing you, it. Yeah. But you know, crazy. the thing is, um, I I have to confess, I swapped colors on you. Did you? I did. Oh, now the truth. See, I, I see how I this went works. With, <laughs> I went with the purple, the purple general, right there, huh? <laughs> Okay, well, he's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Now, we'll take him, both. Yeah, we will take him. Yeah, we'll man. take everyone mm -hmm. we get. You know, when I tell you what, the thing about it is that they are absolutely just swallowing that, that thing. It's, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, we're setting the hook as quick as we can and having, I'm to, telling you. Uh, having to get it out of the back of their mouth for sure. Wow. Okay, awesome. Purple it is. <laughs> Aha. Being sneaky on me. I know. Well, but you told me just to, you know, <clears throat> try a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I, I but did. I'm, I did. I'm just did. following the, the advice of my guy here. <laughs> that's all I can do. Huh? Uh, they're they're being a little finicky this morning, but that's that's what you got to do sometimes. Yeah. Change up on them. Okay. Well, Ron, I, I have to ask you. Mm -hmm. Okay, as as you know, I know. Um, that you're um, an avid fisherman, okay? You've been yes. guiding for what, over 20 years? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have to tell me a little bit about, of course, um, the accident here as far as what happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, has, it wasn't really an accident, but right. um, in a way it probably was. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, tell all the folks out there, I mean, obviously you're paralyzed from the waist down, but mm -hmm. that does not keep you from doing this, <laughs> from driving a truck, driving a boat, guiding, yes. you know, I mean, it's it's remarkable. I, I try not to let it slow me down a whole lot. It, it's I appreciate you saying that. And it's after complications with open heart surgery when I was very young, five years old, um, I ended up, you know, being paralyzed after that. So, you know, it happened at five, so I never really knew a, a whole lot of difference. So yeah, I just yeah. kind of, you know, tried to adapt to it the best I could and, and you know, go and have fun and catch some fish. <laughs> well, you know, you fished a tournament series. Tell everybody yeah. about that because, I again, it's just remarkable. And, I, and it's not that I'm astonished that <laughs> folks with handicaps have issues. It's not that. You, you overcome, you adapt. You, you have a normal life. You're married. I mean, yes, it's just it's just awesome. And, <laughs> well, I appreciate I, and it. And I tell you, you're a great guy to spend the day with in the boat. <laughs> okay. I mean, gosh, what more can I say? <laughs> well, but tell everybody you. about the tournament well, trail well, that you, you fish. Thank you for all that. And I, I fish the the Bassmaster Eastern Opens and travel pretty much the East Coast. We go as far as New York and we fish, you know, four tournaments a year. And sometimes they've changed it up and had a championship tournament on top of that. And Hopefully one day qualify for the Bassmaster Classic and maybe the the Elite Series at one point. You know, hopefully yeah. that's the, you know, in the long run that's a goal. And you know, whether I you know am able to fish the Elite Series or not, just to qualify for it, it's a, a pretty big accomplishment. Well, I mean, gosh, you're currently 60 out of 300. Yeah. So, that's, well, that's not bad. That's I, not I too mean, bad. When you, some when of you the get best to, fishermen in the country. Well, exactly, sure. Bone. That's what I'm talking about. Give me five right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, that's right. right you know. <laughs> well, folks, I tell you what. You got to log on to, to Bob's Top 16 on our website at bobredford.com. Click on Be Info Plantation. You want to fish with this guy? I tell you what, you won't regret it. And I got to I got to catch some more, okay? Yes. There got to be another big enough. Oh yeah, there's okay? gonna, we're fixing. We both big. we both kind of lost them at the boat this morning, but that's <laughs> we, okay. We have we have lost a couple. Let fish, me try but... this purple general again, okay? <laughs> Salute. All right. Mm. Coming up, we head to the Pure Fishing Tackle Shop with guest Kevin Malone from Berkeley Fishing to introduce you to some new Berkeley power baits that should help you catch more fish. How's it going? Wow, what do we got over here? This is the all new Chevy Silverado. It's beautiful. Beefy and mean looking. It's the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever, and it's full of surprises. Oh, nice. It offers an industry first power up down tailgate. I kind of didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> but that's not all. Oh, oh my. Oh, the Silverado has more cargo volume than any competitor. Very impressive. It's got 20% oh. more than F 150. That is really nice. Is there a buy it now button on there too? <laughs> yeah. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, 
where the past can still be experienced today. You should always use a safety on any firearm, but remember, a safety is a mechanical device that can fail. It is only there to supplement proper gun handling. Remember, safe hunting is no accident. Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom-crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series. Celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. At sunset, boats are required to display a red and green light on the bow and a white light at the stern. Navigation lights are for others to see you and your intentions. Remember, safe boating is no accident. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors. By Berkeley. Catch more fish with Berkeley fishing products. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. By Browning Ammunition, Browning, the best there is. And by Southern Woods Plantation, voted as one of the top quail hunting destinations in America. Well, folks, we're going to have more on the show this week, but joining me now with our Tackle Shop update this week is Kevin Malone, the product brand manager at Berkeley and Pure Fishing, and we're going to be talking some Berkeley power baits this week, okay? If you fish and you don't have Berkeley power bait in your tackle box, you need to pay attention and get some. Okay, I'm all about this Max Scent stuff, okay? Talk to me about the importance of all of these baits. Yeah, so uh, power bait Max Scent is relatively new to our, our power bait family. Everybody knows and loves power bait but as the name indicates it's a sort of amped up version of it um, you know with power bait it's all about the taste um, but the max scent version actually excretes scent out into the water column um, mm -hmm. so you get that added benefit of uh, a, a larger um, range of attraction to the fish and uh, we've actually quantified uh, in our lab and in the field that this actually catches 45 percent more fish than original power bait so take what you thought was good with power bait and this is an even better version um, similar to gulp with the, the scent excretion in the water column the good thing about this stuff though is if you're moving a lot it doesn't dry out on the hook um, and we've got a lot of great key shapes here um, today well I tell you it's even 45 percent on the package so it's yeah. got to be good so you've got some really some great options here okay I mean we've got uh, craws I mean I mean we've got I'm just telling you kingtails yeah I mean you pretty much got it all covered with all of the different varieties in the plastics. Yeah, we've got a full range of sizes from bigger worm profiles and uh, creature baits um, to drop shot baits. And uh, it's really a full assortment. And probably the, the my favorite and the most popular is the general. So yeah. our stick bait, it's got the right action. It's got the perfect action, but you've got that added benefit of that scent. And it's just one thing when you're throwing this, it's just a heavier plastic. And it, for me, I reduce down the weight that I use because I don't need it. Yeah, cast super well. It does. Um, because of how we got to get it to fall right, to your point, it is a little bit heavier yep. and uh, really great casting soft plastic as well. Kevin, you guys never cease to amaze me at Berkeley in a pure fishing, okay? Thank you for, well, I tell you what, bringing all this great stuff in. And folks, listen, if you want to know more about all these great Berkeley products, log on to berkeley-fishing.com. See for yourself, okay? And next week, we'll probably have Kevin back here again on the show to talk about some more great fishing products. Stay tuned after commercial break. We head to the sportsman's table for a South Carolina certified low country boil recipe. And later in the show, we go back to Florida for some more exciting bass fishing. It's time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent field. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original power bait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. Ten forage-inspired natural matte colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go.
Wakawachi Marina, located on the Wakama River in Merle's Inlet, is a first-class freshwater marina. For over 60 years, locals and visitors have enjoyed Wakawachi Marina as a recreational stopover or as a launching spot on the river. Wakawachi offers affordable rates on wet slips, rack storage, fuel services, and a collection of amenities to enhance your boating experience. For a great meal with a waterfront setting, visit Deck 383, located on dock level at the marina. Wakawachi Marina, Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Take a moment to think about the food you buy and eat. Is it fresh? I mean really fresh. Or is it shipped from a grower hundreds or even thousands of miles away? Well, here in South Carolina, we celebrate fresh, locally grown food and unforgettable meals with family and friends. So choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Welcome to this week's Sportsman's Table, folks. We're on the beautiful Waccamaw River here at Deck 383. Tell you what, we've got another great recipe for you this week. And my guest chef is Carol Panagos. She is a sous chef for Strand Catering right here at Myrtle Beach. Carol, welcome. Thank okay, you. now nice listen, there's a lot of folks who love what you're going to cook for us today. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about it. We are going to do a crab boil, but we're going to do it for two. Typically, a crab boil is done for a large quantity of people, and that's what's great about it. You can get a lot of food out and for large crowds. I see mussels, I yeah. see shrimp. Little nut clam, Ooh, some local sausage, mm. or corn, shrimp from um, the McClellanville. There you go. So, and our corn dust came from a farm free. Okay. And then our little potatoes I were just picked the other day as well. So and you're gonna let me help put in the stuff? I am, I'm oh, gonna wait, teach you awesome. how to do okay, this. So, so what reverse, we're gonna start with, I'm gonna want you to start ah. with this butter because we wanna make sure this broth has a lot of aromatics okay. and flavor to it. Right, so there goes the butter. Now add your garlic. Oh wow, okay. And now your onion. Look at this, Another cup of onion. Redford's cooking, <laughs> man. And add your celery. Okay. You're oh, just wow. gonna give that a little stir around. Feel the smell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very okay. good. Now That's, do you want all this butter to melt? Yes, you okay. want everything to kind of melt together. And then once you have your onions about halfway translucent, okay. you will add your crab oil seasoning to that. Oh, I got you. Then you add your water so that you're not diluting oh, your flavor. this is great. Well, you know, the, I, I really like your idea because it's a for two, yes. okay? Because normally it's a pot this big exactly. around. Exactly. Yeah, and then you got to dump all the paper out and all that <laughs> other stuff. No, not this. Okay, we're there. Okay, so you can go ahead and add a, about a half a cup. Oh, really? I'll say when. When. <laughs> okay, there we go. There you go. And what is this, that season? This is a great season you can get from your Seven, um, seven Seas, Merle's Inlet. They oh, have yeah. a house crab boil season. There we go, certified SC. Amazing. Yeah. And then you're gonna go ahead and squeeze two lemons oh, in there. Oh my goodness, okay. And if you, the trick to a chef's trick is if you use a strainer, you won't get those lemon um, I see that. seeds in there yeah. as well. That's awesome, okay. Okay, you know, folks, listen, I, I always try to do the eating, <laughs> but not today. Carol's got me working. All right. That's right. All right. Now you're going to open up your can of New South beer. This is brewed locally here in Myrtle Beach. Okay. We've got to do this Carol, carefully. All right. There we there go. There you go. All right. Now, the reason I like using this beer is it comes, um, it's brewed with coriander and spices and oh. also has a zest of orange in it. Oh, so wow. it pairs really well when you're cooking with seafood or shrimp or anything like that. And so. that's right here in Myrtle Beach? Right here in Myrtle Beach. Okay. There you go. Right. Now, don't, how much? The whole can. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. There is the sound you're looking for. So. Oh my, I'll have to stand back because the fumes will make, I want to finish this segment. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. So the fact that you're smelling is good. Make sure you give it a good stir together. Okay, yeah. All right. Now you can go ahead and add your uh, oh, water. Two quarts of water. The whole thing? Yes, please. Okay. 
Thank goodness you already got it measured out. <laughs> just right. want to make sure you have enough water to keep all the items covered as they're cooking. If I you notice you. that things start to, the water line dips below your vegetables or right. your seafood, add a little more water to oh, it wow. as well. That's easy. All okay. right. Now, first thing you want to start with is your little potatoes. Okay. Mm, those are it's about new can, potatoes? Yes. Okay. All right, I about 10 to 12 of them. Okay. Got that. Mm-hmm. And then you let that cook for about 20 minutes. You want all this to simmer together in medium high heat and just kind of work and incorporate together. Your potatoes are going to cook the longest. Okay. Next, you're going to add your onions, Ooh, yeah. your corn, and your sausage. Okay. Fresh local sausage. Mm hmm. Oh, the corn. And then looks we great. chose a, um, a hot kind just because we like a little flavor and oh, extra yeah. spice in there. Okay. Got it. Two links of sausage cut up into fours. Okay. Mm. Now, any sausage will do? Any sausage will do. That looked like do. andouille some sort of? It was an andouille, but yeah. um, you can use, if you like kielbasa, you can use that as well. Ah, okay. It doesn't matter what, oh, what your preference is. Awesome. Now, you're going to let that cook for about another five to eight minutes. Okay. To make sure that your corn gets cooked thoroughly. Man, it smells great. Mm. Okay. Then you will add your clams. Just put them all in there? You just dump them all in there. Yeah. And those are going to oh. cook for eight to 10 minutes or okay. until you see them open. Ah, okay. Once they open, you know they are cut. They're playing peekaboo with me. That's I got right. It. All right, here we go. So after you're, that is cooked for mm -hmm. eight, 10 minutes, you see your clams are open, go ahead and throw your shrimp in. Now, you want to be tasting this as you go along to make sure that your flavor is still right. You have a lot of seasoning and spice and salt in the you. water. Okay, I'll, I'll do the right thing <laughs> here, okay? Mm. Everyone's a fan of taste testing, that's oh, for it's, sure. it's great, yeah. It's there awesome. you go. Yeah. Add your shrimp in and okay. go ahead and turn your heat off. Okay. And you want to let this sit and incorporate together after it's been simmering for a good 10 minutes and then you can strain it. So onto the shrimp, they're just going to turn kind of pink? That's right. Oh, wow. But yep. not too tough. Not too tough. You know, okay. That's why if you turn the heat off, you won't overcook them, but they'll still incorporate the flavor that you're looking for. Listen, that's awesome. You're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> and then the last step is you would strain it. Okay. And then you can serve it into your bowls for two. Oh, and here we have it, the fresh. Mm. Low country boil right That's there. That's right. Look at that, folks. I'm telling you, right here, low country <laughs> boil, deck 383 on the Walkabaw River. Join us again right back here again next week for another great episode on the Sportsman's Table. We'll see you then. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at certifiedscgrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina grown products. It's a matter of taste. This reel allows you to cover more water, make more casts, giving you more opportunities to catch more fish. The new Revo Rocket, Abu Garcia for life. How's it going? Wow, what do we got over here? This is the all new Chevy Silverado. It's beautiful. Beefy and mean looking. It's the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever, and it's full of surprises. Oh, nice. It offers an industry first power up down tailgate. I kind of didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> but that's not all. Oh, oh my. Oh, the Silverado has more cargo volume than any competitor. Very impressive. It's got 20% oh. more than F 150. That is really nice. Is there a buy it now button on there too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series. Celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the Old 96 District. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick Counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 District is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the Old 96 District of South Carolina. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine.
by the South Carolina Agriculture Department. It's a matter of taste. By Browning, Browning, the best there is. By South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing. And by the Wakawachi Marina and Deck 383. Located on the Waccamaw River in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. There's Bot. Yep. All right, get him, boo. There. Get him. <laughs> yeah, man. But he picked that thing up in the middle? Yes, he did, right in oh the middle of that gosh. cut. That's awesome. Feels like a little better fish than the last one I uh, caught. There you <laughs> that go. Last one. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, get him over here and I'll dip him up for you. Yeah, all right. Oh, let me put mine down. Oh, they're strong out here. It's, I'm telling you. I love that's how a good these thing fish about. fight. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> let me get mine out the way. He doesn't want to come see us, no, does he? No, he don't, does he? Mm. And we caught him on the general. Oh, oh general. yeah. There we go. Yeah, man. Mm. I'll tell you. Uh oh. Bo. Did he break my line? Bo, he broke right. your line. I probably should have retired oh, that. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Dang. Oh. <laughs> but there ain't nothing I can do about that. At least no, I think yeah. we got it. But we got to see him Yeah, anyway. we got to see him. Okay. All right. That's all right. It happens. Mm. That, that's, that's, that's probably But you know, in the tournament, right man, in the tournament, yeah. you've got to make sure you I'd, get him in the live I'd well. I'd be crying right now. I know you would be. <laughs> Golly. Yep. It's on the black general. If he'll just take it, I'll get him over here. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. Oh, that sounded good. <laughs> yeah, man, he's, ah. yeah, he's a small one, that's okay. <laughs> it but. sounded good anyway. Yeah, well, I just kind of, look at him, man. That, I tell you, they are absolutely inhaling that thing. They dang sure are. Yeah, wow. <laughs> they are liking the general for oh, sure. They, they are liking the general. Mm. It's got to be all that scent that they put on them. Uh, has to be. <laughs> they are just absolutely inhaling that thing. <laughs> wow. All right, I had to switch up to the black. Mm. He ain't very big, but that's okay. I'll take him. Get down there, bro. All right, man. Where that one was, they had to be a bigger one. They just ain't one. And the general, fish on. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Ron, I tell you what, man, I have enjoyed fishing with you, my friend. I have too. It I has been a pleasure. It has been a fun day. I you know, enjoyed I, fishing with you. I'm just glad we caught up with, with one another off your tournament <laughs> trail, okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a crazy schedule. We both kind of got crazy schedules going, don't well, we? Well, listen, I tell you what, <laughs> I will always have time for fishing. <laughs> yes, sir. And me I too. know you will as well. Absolutely. And folks, listen, I tell you what, I hope you've enjoyed our show from from beautiful sunny Florida down here with Ron Riles at Bienville Plantation. Again, log on to Bob's Top 16 on BobRedford.com and go to Bienville Plantation and you can come fishing with this young man right here. I tell you what, he'll put you on fish just like we've had a great day today. I tell you what, it's been the, the Power Bay General, my friend. It has been oh, the man, General. I, the salute. General definitely did it for us yeah. today. Well, listen, I'm going to try and continue. I know the folks have got to go, but All i got right. to continue to try and fish with this, with the Chapo, okay? Because <laughs> I'm it. telling you. I'm going to keep throwing the General. <laughs> yeah, down the road, you know, the Chapo is going to be the ticket, okay? Yes, well, listen, I appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. And folks, as I always like to say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another episode of Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine. Keep fishing, Bo, and I'm going to keep wishing. Let me throw it on out there. Woo!